All right, ladies and gentlemen, on the screen now, you are seeing that more of you are not subscribed than subscribed. So if you're enjoying UKW's content, make sure to hit that sub button. Now, on with your regularly scheduled programs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have an exciting way to kick off tonight's episode of UKW Renegade. And the way I'm going to do that is by announcing the premier match for the Royal Gauntlet in New Orleans. In under two weeks, 20 of UKW's top superstars will compete in a pin slash submission elimination match with the winner securing the coveted number 30 spot at the newly announced Rumble in the Bronx 2, which will be in the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City. 20 of UKW's top competitors, all vying for the chance to go to Pinnacle to face the UKW World Champion. The road to Pinnacle starts. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to UKW Renegade. It's your boy Cass, the voice of UKW, along with Valente and Dakota, and we are here with Gabriel Cole kicking off the episode of UKW Renegade where he's going to take on a debuting UKW superstar, Valente. Oh, yeah. UKW has went out and signed one of a great Japanese talent by the name of Apollo. We're going to finally get the chance to see Apollo work. Dakota, we have a major matches in store later tonight. We're going to hear... From the LLM World Heavyweight Champion, Diego Ortiz, as well in our main event. After a couple of skirmishes on social media, we have a UKW World title match in our main event. Pinning the UKW World Champion, Andre Simmons, taking on Grayson Duck. Now here we go, Apollo. Looks ready to go, Apollo in his debuting match here at UKW, taking on... The former international champion, Gabriel Covalente. And you got to think that this is going to be big for Apollo. If Apollo could come in here into UKW in his first match and beat Cole, that might put him in a great position for that cruiserweight championship held by the triple lion, Richard Ward. I mean, if you think about it, if he beats a former world champion, I mean, an international champion, on an, a, like his very couple first matches and he's that guy so Gabriel Cole is definitely going to have to be looking out for this man the size yep. difference is very noticeable Cole oh Cole answers quickly with a shot and that falls Apollo early Apollo gets up early oh responds with a kick to the chest and a chop as well runs in goes for a kick countered by Cole Cole with a shot Cole again drops in with those forearms. Stuns Apollo. Apollo ducks it. Apollo kick to the leg. Kick to the back. Kicking the hell out of Cole. Goes. Dragon suplex. Hooks the arms with a double underhook, but an early kick out from Cole. Now, Valente. Uh, I don't. Okay. Go ahead, Cody. Can, uh, I don't think Apollo really is. Uh, we're seeing the differences in the sizes here. I think Apollo is going to use every advantage he can to get up on a way taller Gabriel Cole and we've seen that so far but currently Gabriel Cole is in control oh, better watch out that was big knee oh, Apollo Apollo might be going for something here went for a shot Apollo ducks it these two going blow for blow right now oh big shots from Cole and a chop overhead as well oh goes for an overhead oh big chop and now Apollo off the ropes went for it again palm kick oh. from Cole you yeah, gotta think Cole is incensed after losing the international championship via London lockdown. A big counter by Apollo. But he's gotta get Roach out of his mind dealing with Apollo here. Or he could suffer a big loss that would really set him back. Yeah, being the veteran guy, you can't let the rookie come in here and just and beat you like that like in his first match here. Big super kick. Apollo, what the hell? Double God, foot oh, stop! Oh goodness. A beautiful yeah, maneuver. Like rookie. And now Apollo this rookie, this could be taken ass. to the skies. Oh. Big overhead sent out on Cole. I think Cole 
might have underestimated one of UKW's newest signings in Apollo. And from what I'm seeing right now, Valente, Apollo is going to make a great addition to the UKW Cruiserweight division. I agree with that. He's got the speed. He's got uh, an entertaining style that we all like to see. From Big the shot. You got to think Richard Ward is watching Apollo here. Big boot by Cole in the corner. Cole getting Apollo to his feet. Oh, no, fireman carry from Apollo. Apollo now is going to go tilt the world. Big Fujinarian armbar. And you see Cole. Cole's grabbing. He knows he's got to get out of this. He knows the damage that this can do on your arm. The damage this can do on your shoulder. Oh, Cole rolls out. He's holding that arm, though. Went for a pump kick. Got caught again. Got caught again, but Cole. Cole positioned his legs under the ropes. It's a great ring psychology from That's the former very, champion. Very oh, a double move. He's both went for a drop kick. Now Cole off the ropes. Now the stop. Oh my God, those forearms again. Now bloodying the face of Apollo. This would be really big for Cole to get a big win on Renegade. To start building up that momentum back. George, if he wants to post in his rematch for Shane Roach. What the hell is this? Big package sit out bomb from Apollo on to Cole. That might be it, but no. Apollo looking close at Cole. Papa, what the hell? Oh. Cole went for a pop-up power bomb. Apollo countered it. And now Apollo cards throw. This man Apollo is putting in work right now. Apollo dumps on a pay-like kick. Oh, thank Gabriel Cole is ready for Apollo to come in here and kind of do a veteran like Gabriel Cole like this. But oh, he's going to send him into the, the post. No. Cole was able to move out of the way. Cole kick. Look at Cole. I think Cole's got it now. Cole's realized what he's dealing with. In. Cole now getting him to his feet. Cole could be looking for a beautiful bluegrass kick. And this is the Gabriel Cole. We know the seasoned veteran. We love to see this side of him, even if he's Cole. facing a rookie. Oh, we're going to send Apollo into the corner. That didn't seem to work out too well. Oh, Cole. Cole's going to come rushing in. Went for the pump kick. Oh, no, he went to take him out. Cole caught him, though. Back and forth. Oh, a big Euro uppercut. Cole looking. I think Gabriel Cole said it's time to stop playing around. Oh. Gonna, Apollo knows not. he can't, Cole can't get him into that corner. He's going to go for that Kentucky. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. What a Koopo oh, kick. What the oh, hell? Oh, what the hell? Apollo setting oh, up. No. Double oh, foot stomp to the side of the face. Oh, this might be bad for Gabriel Cole. That might be it. Count. One. Two. Two. Oh, oh, a kick out from Cole. Oh, Apollo dude. almost just got a major upset. Apollo watching closely on that Cole. That would have been the biggest win. Going to the top rope. For this guy. Oh, Apollo. Apollo leaped off. Cole runs it. Double foot stomp from Cole. Cole loves those double foot stomps. And now sends Apollo into the corner. Oh, this yeah, could be in here. Super zone. kick to the knee. And oh that is vintage Cole. A massive Nine. Kentucky Nine. sunset. Bye-bye, Apollo. A very game debut from Apollo. But Cole gets a big win. Well, it was still a As really now good we set. By... And now look, Cole, Cole asking... Go asking the the ring announcer for a microphone. Shane Roach. See, I had a chat with the big boss, Tristan Sidney, and he's officially giving me the green light to invoke my rematch clause for my international championship. And there's nowhere you can run and nowhere you can hide because we're doing things my way. See, you don't get to have those bitches and the cure by your side. Because if anybody, any one member of the cure, 
even steps foot on that ramp in the crowd anywhere. Your title reign, finito, finished, done. But not only that, we're doing things my way, and you are facing me in my match. You're facing me in full metal mayhem. And if you aren't familiar, you need to go do some homework because this is my type of fight. Enjoy the rest of your short lived title reign because soon I'm going to send you back into retirement. I'm going to make Draven wish that he stayed gone. And Connor. Well, Connor's just going to go back to begging that UKW even has space for him on the roster. You see, you guys call yourself the cure? Well, I'm the truth. And the truth is, I'm going to be the real cure to this cancer of UKW. Shane, I hope you're ready. I'll see you at Royal Gauntlet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just heard explosive words from Gabriel Cole about a full metal mayhem match for the Royal Gauntlet in New Orleans. But now, the Lucha Libre Magico heavyweight champion Valente is in the building. Diego Ortiz is fresh and shined. And now, he said last week that he was going to bring the Lucha Libre Magica World Championship to UKW. And he was going to defend it. That he wants to show off the LLM brand all around the yeah. world. And there is nowhere better to do that in Europe than in UKW. Yeah, this guy's one of my favorite people that I've ever seen wrestle in UKW. He's made a huge, huge uh, first impression on me over his first a uh, couple of weeks here and I'm excited to see what he does but sporting that gold it is massive to have Diego Ortiz on the board let's see what Ortiz has to say tonight I Ortiz ready for his open challenge, Valente Yusa, for the LLM World Championship. Who is going to accept the open challenge from Ortiz? Whoever does okay. will be Okay. We know that PJ wow. Razor has been wanting to step up. Valente, we saw last week in the four-way dance that PJ went out first. So maybe he feels like he's got to step up tonight. And he's the first one of the UKW roster to step up to, David, to Diego Ortiz. Oh, yeah. very interesting here. This would be huge for PJ Razor if he can win this match against the ARTs. You got to think how yeah, big I... it would be. Exactly. Go ahead, Volante. And I, I used to be a, a, a huge fan of PJ Razor back when he was the Pride champion, but ever since then I felt like he's lost a step a little bit, so maybe, maybe this is exactly what he needs to get back on track. If he was to win the LLM World Championship, it would be massive for him. Razor would take it on a massive exploration. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a massive open challenge here that we didn't even know was going to happen tonight for the LLM World Championship. PJ Razor answering Diego Ortiz's open challenge. And we see Razor, who's tried to make the step into the main event, Valente. After the Pride Division, like you mentioned, his loss to Brandon Collins in the Unification match, he's tried to step his way into the main event. It hasn't went too well for him so far, but this could be a way to really shift that tide. Yep, you got an opportunity. You got to make what's best. You got to make the best out of your opportunities. When you Diego them. Ortiz really he's... taking on a vintage wrestling style, Valente, of a traveling world champion. We remember like back 
Go ahead. Like I was saying, you got to make the best of the opportunities you're given. PJ's usually been able to do that, but not as not as much recently. So we got to see. Here we go, Ortiz. Like I said, really taking on the role of a traveling world champion. Now defends the LLM World Championship for the first time on European soil. And now, I was going to go for a cutter. Oh, big drop kick countered. These two are going to start off epically. Now takes him with a shot to the midsection. PJ Razor really hasn't gotten his full capacity at the main event level. But we got to remember, PJ Razor is a really good wrestler. And at that, that fact, he's a damn good wrestler. So I want to see how he does against this man, Diego Ortiz. Now Who's Ortiz is wrenching the on the nose. And I want to say, you saw, I don't know if you saw this, but he hooked in that figure four. If we remember, he targeted Banshee's legs early on in last, in two weeks ago on the first episode after London lockdown, and he was able to beat Banshee because of it. Now he's trying to do the same to Razor. Razor, though, sends him in. Razor blitzing in with some oh. speed. Jesus Christ. Now Razor grabbing the arm of El Jefe Diego Ortiz. Razor getting up Ortiz. Ortiz in a bad position, sitting in the corner from PJ. PJ goes rushing in. What the hell is this from Ortiz? Ortiz could be looking. Beautiful missile drop kick. Counter from Razor. Razor's back on him though. Back and forth. A big shot from Ortiz. Ortiz counters, no kick to the midsection from Razor. Ortiz throws that one away as well. But Razor counters again, shot, and a big drop kick. Razor has been all over the LLM world champion. PJ Razor trying to prove that he can be a main eventer. A big shot, no counter from Ortiz again. Ortiz able to counter, now Ortiz trying to slow this one down. Look at Ortiz, takes him down to the mat. And you see Razor starting to get a bit frustrated. I'm going to throw them away again. Ortiz is going to go for some sort of submission hold. But now watch. The crowd starting to get fired up as these two are going to go oh, back yeah. and forth. Yeah, this is what we wanted. This is wrestling. We love to see that from DJ Razor and Ortiz. These two are starting to get a little drained in Razor. But Ortiz catches the chop. And Ortiz with a shot. The Razor. Ortiz lining up. Razor, big form. A shot again. Continuing to drive Razor into the corner. The crowd is going crazy here in London. What the hell oh, what's what he's looking is for? LFA oh. looking for? He's going to show off the outlets and some jumps all the way to the damn top rope. Ortiz. Oh my goodness. Oh my superplex. Goodness. A beautiful superplex by LFA Diego Ortiz. Ortiz is going to take his chance to retain the LLM World Razor's Championship. A beautiful no. frog splash through the heart One, of PJ Razor two. and a oh. kick out from Razor. I was going to say, hell of a quick finish by Diego Ortiz. No, Ortiz. What a sequence there, too, by Oh, all. shots him down. Now, continuing the assault on the base of Razor. El Jefe showing. Why LLM put the trust in him to be the flag bearer. He he's said that some great matches for us here at UKW and here we go. He's, what the hell is Ortiz really, building up some speed? And like the, he's really the flag bearer with a the shot to the knee as well. He's the flag bearer and the pioneer of our, our partnership with LLM. Ortiz going to be looking to capitalize. Big exploder. A beautiful high angle exploder into the cover. We're going to see the champion retain, but no. Diego Ortiz can really wrestle. What an exploder. BJ Razor is now stunned. What the hell is Ortiz going for? Ortiz off the top. No. Oh, he caught the canvas. He caught the jam outside. And now Razor, Razor looking to capitalize, levels Ortiz! Oh my god, oh my god Razor! Down from the fight. Razor taking it out, Ortiz taking time to recover. Razor! Oh, this could be bad. Oh, this could be bad. This could be really bad. Oh, oh no, Ortiz saves itself. Ortiz saves itself. Razor, off the top! Counters it! It sends Razor in! 
What the hell is El Jefe? Going now, setting Razor up on it. What the oh. hell? What the hell oh, are no. these two about to go DJ for? In trouble. Big Hope shot. Insurance. To Ortiz. No, no. Razor. Razor able to counter it. Razor. Razor's oh gonna go. On the Suplex to the concrete. Suplex to that outside padding. Jesus. Doesn't mean much when. And now Razor. Like Razor hell. takes him down with a body press. PJ Razor in control right now. What a showing by PJ Razor, honestly. Razor could be looking. He's always after that suplex that and that press. One, <sighs> two. No, we almost saw a new LLM World Champion. Razor really getting him up. Razor went for a shot. Ortiz able to counter. Ortiz. Now look at Ortiz. He's got a ground base. Oh, a look at he ground based him again, and Razor continues to be mad at the mat work of Diego Ortiz. He's throwing too much emotion in this. You gotta be strategical. Ortiz looking to take advantage. No Razor able to counter. No Ortiz. Look at this. What the hell by Diego Ortiz? Goodness. Ortiz goes a shot. No. Razor caught him with a forearm. Razor able to That's catch what, Ortiz. And now Razor goes kicks. Valente, it looks like he did take something out of the playbook of Tyson Kobayashi. Big roundhouse. What a match so far by these two dudes. These two wrestlers. Now spin into the corner. Razor could be looking to finish this with DJ that curb stop off guy. the top. No, oh my God. the roll through. The roll through, the kick to the face. That would have ended the career of Diego Ortiz. Double under a spinning brain buster. The champions retain. The champions retain. No, a kick out from Razor. Razor is kept. Razor has kept his LLM championship alive. Now Ortiz has a lot to lose here if he loses, but PJ Razor has a lot to prove with nothing to lose. A shot. Big slingshot super kick. Razor, these two, gonna go at it, throw some blows. Look, continuing to kick out that leg. Oh, a duck, a roll through. Look at him, oh, he's got him. Cross face, cross face. Razor might be in trouble for here for Ortiz. A Razor, Razor, I think, a Razor rolled through it. He broke out of it, kicked to the midsection. Shot again, shot again, Razor, old school, stop. Oh my goodness. That's the way he won the Pride Heavyweight One, Championship two, at Pinnacle. A kick out from Ortiz. Ortiz just no kicked way. out. These two are putting their bodies on the line. Razor. The crowd is loving it. Razor has got to keep focusing on Diego Ortiz. He's going to go that little time, the time he took. Complaining with the damn referee. Might be able to play the factor. Sends him into the barricade. Ortiz. Slight shots him in again. He's too putting on a show for the crowd. Ortiz with a shot. What the hell is Ortiz going for here? Oh my God. Ortiz. Oh my God. A Mitch Anoku driver on the floor. Razor. Could be yeah, done here. Definite trouble. This Ortiz, dumb shotgun drop kick. Ortiz is gonna retain the title after that One, shotgun drop two. kick. And, and barely. PJ Razor is proving he can be a main event guy with this match. I don't, Diego Ortiz might be looking. Now he looks like he's ready for Razor. And Razor and him are gonna go brawl for brawl right now. These two, ducking elbows, ducking kicks. Razor, oh, might have called the shit, advantage, big form. I never thought PJ Razor had it in him after the disappointing pride tournament. But he is proving that he and can Valente, be a you gotta guy think with this one. That El Jefe, if he would have done more of his research, you don't get in a striking battle with PJ Razor. Yeah, that's for sure. Razor. 
Oh, he's gonna nail that drop kick again. That's the second time he's nailed it. That's the second time he's nailed that big drop kick. Counter, Ortiz with a shot. What the hell is Ortiz going for here? Ortiz sending him into the corner. Ortiz blasts his head off the corner. A shot from Ortiz. And now look at these chops and punches from the LLM World Champion. Ortiz off the top, boom, salt. Razor keeps finding a way to get out of the ring, though. To, oh my God! What the hell is? Or he's gonna go? Oh no, Razor! Razor picked his moment. Razor picked his moment. I don't think Ortiz knows where he is. Oh, we saw this earlier, but Ortiz Razor's avoided gonna, it. Razor is willing to do whatever it takes. Ortiz can keep being able to get out of it. But no, I don't think Ortiz still knows where he is. The ref. Razor. Jumped over, Jumped the, over ref. the referee. Holy shit. Holy shit indeed. PJ Razor is gonna win gold. Razor's gonna Diego do this. Ortiz He's gonna kick the trouble. head off of Diego Ortiz. And Razor is gonna win the LLM World Championship. Oh my God! Here he comes! Razor's gonna do this! No one has kicked DJ, out of the top row! Stop! Night, night. Ortiz is champion. finished! Ortiz One, is finished! Two, oh, kick out from Diego Ortiz! This can't be happening right now. PJ Razor has given Ortiz Razor. about all he can handle. He's complaining with the referee again! I don't think he sees. Diego's up. Small package from Ortiz. One, Ortiz, two. two. Oh, I'll count out. I'll counter. Razor. Wait, this could be. Very this could bad. be it. Oh, I'll kick oh. out from Ortiz. These Razor. Being very resilient. Ortiz doesn't even know where he is. Wait, Ortiz throws him off. The shot. Ortiz caught him. Diego, it's over. Diego Ortiz. He's gonna finish Razor here in London. PJ Razor's fault, but it is time for him to rest. And Diego Ortiz is gonna put him to rest. Double underhooks, spinning brain buster. That's it, middle of the ring. Ortiz retains. A wonderful match between PJ Razor and Diego Good Ortiz. Match. And the thing is, this is only our first of two UKWU World Championship matches. Props Diego to Ortiz Razor. was able to do what he said he'd do. He said he'd come to UKW, face the best, and beat the best. Hello, UKW. I know I've been gone a while, but the Prince is back. And not only is he back, but he's got back up. That being the big guy behind me, meet the Joker. We are here to change the landscape here on UKW. I'll see you on Renegade. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to our third match of the evening. As we just saw Black Iron announce that they are back. So now, here comes Black Iron and his Iron Disciple. We're talking about Joker. Black Iron has went out and recruited himself an Iron Disciple. Well, I think honestly, Cass... A lot of people are doing this recently. You see The Cure, you see Primetime Production. I don't think, I think in UKW at this point, you need somebody to watch your back. And I think that's a lot of the reason these guys go out there and they get that person to watch their back because in UKW, if you go to turn around, somebody's already at your back to beat you down. So a very smart move by Black Iron coming back after Gabriel Cole beat his ass technically in a Hell in a Cell. But 
Oh, fast. This is the first time we've seen Cole, I mean, Iron since that massive match at Wild Card. So we got to see how Iron is going to do. Is he's going to play a little bit of managerial rules? Is Joker is going to take big mo on Big Money Dylan next? Black Iron talking up Joker there at the end. Trying to talk up Joker as Big Monty Dillon is going to make his way to the ring. And you, you thought I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest, I thought Dillon might have exploded more on the scene after the breakout tournament. He seems to have been lost in the shuffle. Yeah, his, his hype has died down a little bit. Um, I'm not even gonna lie to you. He hasn't really. Well, what up the hell? Steam oh, 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 oh my God! Joker, decking big Wasting money, Dylan. No time. And you see Black Iron just watching on. My God. Oh, Black Iron admiring goodness. his work. That's a statement to make when you're when you're a debuting guy like Joker in a. A returning guy. Oh my god. Black Iron, that's definitely a statement you want to make. Taking out big money, Dylan. Jesus Christ. Now this sending Dylan into the ring. Dylan hasn't even got to his feet yet. Oh my. Joker looks so ready. Dylan taking off the jacket and the chains and stuff, and he's bad. Oh no, Dylan. Dylan dodges back. Oh, big elbow by Big Money. Dylan's going to try to play some effect. You see Black Iron looking on from the outside. And now Joker trying to come back with some shots. Dylan trying to fight back, but no Joker with a shot. Oh, and just leveled him. Every time Dylan tries to fight back, Dylan say Joker has an answer. Man, Joker's big. He looks resilient. Slamming him to the mat. I'd say one of my first confessions about Joker is that he's got the strength of a of a grizzly bear. Went for a drop kick. Dylan. Big neck breaker by Big Money. Went for a jab and Joker with an overhand. Dylan's gonna fire back, but Joker responds with another shot. Another shot from Dylan. Then another shot from Joker. Oh, Joker finally caught Dylan. Dylan finally able to connect again. Oh, but Joker levels him. Big money Dylan has been Dylan on. Dylan might be in a bad position. Jesus. Running power stand. For a while, but he lost to Richard Ward in the breakout tournament, so I wonder how that affected him. Oh, my goodness. That's his second. He's been on a bit of a losing streak ever since. If I'm if I'm correct, I don't think he's won a match in UKW yet. Oh, three consecutive power slams. He ain't might not be winning one, this one either. Two. Oh, another Black kick out. Looking and rooting for his for Joker on the side, trying to teach him the ropes. God, look at Joker. My no, so oh. hot. Big snake oh, eyes goodness. over the ropes to that Zaguri as well. Our overhead's gonna go. Sets him down with that elbow again. Dylan might be looking to bring it back a bit. Okay, Dylan some words. sends him into the corner. And now look at those kicks. Dylan. Dylan oh frustrated with the match so far. Now kicking it, Joker. Joker shrugging it off. Joker moves through. Joker! No! Right oh! No! Oh my God! Lariat from hell. That massive Lariat. Now sending Dylan. Jesus Iron Christ. Kind of just sitting there. Doesn't look worried. I think One, he knows two. that his disciple can handle it, but I don't know. Dylan, another kick out after that big, big spine buster. Iron telling Joker to kind of put it away. Big money Dylan. Back. He's gonna look to try to put Dylan away here. No, Dylan, Dylan. Count two. That'd be bad. Oh, count it out, Dylan. That's a big Joker. Oh, a big kick out from Dylan. Joker. 
Caught it by the throat! Oh, nice! Iron nice. Justice! One, two, ball three. game! He nailed it with Iron Justice! What a performance from Joker, man. And Black I keep saying Black Iron. Iron. <laughs> Black Iron is winning, got himself an Iron Disciple. So I just got done cussing out Tristan Sidney because apparently at the Royal Gauntlet, I have to fight in a rematch against Gabriel Cole for my international championship, which he didn't even deserve a freaking rematch. And now I learned also that Draven has to defend his title at the Royal Gauntlet against Ace Stone. Because Ace Stone dove off the cage like a fucking maniac? UKW management is absolute bullshit. I can't believe this right now. I'm so done. And I'm telling you what. If I lose my international championship at the Royal Gauntlet, I am leaving. This management shit is unfair. They gave me Mason Andrews. I had no problem with that, stepping into the ring with that young talent. Not a problem. Smashed him. Didn't even need help from the cure. Maybe a little distraction, y'all want to call it, but what the fuck ever. Listen, I am sick and tired of this. I am a champion. I deserve respect. I don't deserve to face has-beens like Gabriel Cole. And Ace Stone doesn't need to face Draven. And guess what? You, Tristan Sidney, want to make this a full metal mayhem match? Against Cole? Me against Cole? Full Metal Mayhem? I'm going to make Cole fucking bleed. And he's not going to be able to even challenge for a championship. He's not even going to be able to walk. I'm filled with so much anger. So much, so much piss and vinegar. That I am going to dominate. Dominate Gabriel Cole. And get rid of him once and for all. Oh. Oh. And by the way, you could put us in these matches. You could try to put it against us. You could try to act like you're the best management around, Sydney. But guess what? The cure always has a plan. Now get this fucking camera out of my face. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after a fired up promo from Shane Roach, we have our main event of the evening. For the UKW World Championship. After some social media beef between Grayson Duck and the world champion Andre Simmons. We saw what Grayson did to Caleb Allen two weeks ago, Valente, on the first episode of Renegade after London lockdown. We have an update on Caleb. Caleb's condition is starting to improve, but it's still a long way away from any sort of return date. And that's because of this son of a bitch right there. He came out here last week and really had the audacity to talk to our to our interviewer backstage in black and really say with a straight face that he didn't have intentions to do what he did to Big K, if I want to say. He really had the gall to come out last week and say that. Yeah, I mean, I don't believe one word he said. I mean, you go all the way back to to, uh, to Pinnacle where he, you know, sent Big K to the ring. This is this is something that that he's been dreaming of, salivating over for the longest time. So, I mean, I, I don't believe a word that, that Grayson Buck says, if we're being honest. I mean, my take on it is like, I think he might just be salty about losing to Richard Ward, losing the title, being kind of that guy that really wasn't the cruiserweight champion like we've seen in the past. You know, I think he's just gone all rogue in a, in a real logistic. But now, if there's any man that's going to get Grayson Duck straightened out, it's going to be our world heavyweight champion. Because he's going to come in here and give Grayson an old good southern ass whipping. We're talking about Andre Simmons, the Bayou bad boy, and your UKW world heavyweight champion. The man that in 
under two weeks will walk in to his home state of Louisiana inside of the Smoothie King Center in New Orleans and take on Andre Graves for that World Heavyweight Championship right there. Andre Graves is taking the night off after winning that number one contendership. And now you got to think he's at home, Valente, watching Andre Simmons defend the world title tonight. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to think he's watching this match very closely. Yes, sir. You got to keep, you know, you got to keep sharp, at least when you're not working. You got to keep your mind together. You got to watch film. You got to study your opponents. It's, it's the key to this. You got to know exactly what you're getting yourself into. And if you slack off, you know, Andre Simmons is going to completely take it over. And that's how he became world champion. Is Rogue Abbott slacking off, thinking that it was thinking that it was over, and boom. Bye, you bad boy. He made true on his promise. Leading up to lockdown, he said he would change the game. He would change a whole new era here in UKW. The outsing of Tyler Drake and the influx of a new world champion has really changed the game and the landscape here. So I will say Andre made true on his promise. So let's get into this massive main event. There it is. The beautiful UKW World Championship. Mint. Well, I was about to say uh, Grayson has a chance to become a double champion. Something that no one else has done, but I'll be wrong if I said that. You'd be very wrong if Grayson um, <laughs> lost his gold. Oh, you're Grace. right. I'm sorry. Yeah. Grayson looking to take the world title from the Bayou Bad Boy before he gets a chance to compete in Louisiana. But now there he is. Andre Simmons showing the world title here to the UKW Arena here in London. Listen. We've had a lot of champions in UKW, but I might say so myself since day one. I've loved this guy, Andrew Simmons. I've rooted for this guy, Andrew Simmons. Nobody, even in the former champions, has quite the aura Andre Simmons has. But by you, bad boy. Here we go. Grayson locks in with Simmons. And here we go. And Grayson, Grayson goes right after the world champ. Like a way to win, I guess. Like a caged pit bull. Oh, but Simmons isn't gonna have that. Simmons, champion. Simmons does not like to be taunted. And now Simmons is all over Grayson. Grayson fighting back though here against Andre. Oh, but Andre, I will, say I, like, I will say I like the strategy that Grayson opted for, going straight out of the gate, but um, he didn't execute it perfectly. And he just sat back and taunted and angry on you. Yeah, I don't think now that Simmons, was good. Simmons, boom! Like with a up. shot to the kidney. You know about those kidney blows, Valente? That they can just level you in boxing. Wait, oh Grayson, Grayson, Grayson shot off the back fin. Crucifix, two. We almost had a new world champ. And now Grayson again taunting the champion. Oh, he's gonna go. Big slam and again Grayson just able to be slippery, able to be out of it. Now Grayson putting the boots to the champ. Grayson God. getting this match barely. He honestly doesn't deserve it. Big K is out there sitting somewhere injured watching this match and wondering you gotta how, think that why Alan didn't Big K get this match? And the, 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 the reason Grayson has this match is because he pissed off the world champion. And then the world champion demanded it from Tristan Sidney. He got under... That's one thing Grayson's very good at. He can get under the skin of people. And he got under the skin of the world champion. I don't know. That might have backfired on him as the world champion. He's putting a whooping ass on him. Yeah, he said he was... I mean, you don't got to be smart. You don't got to be scared to get your ass kicked. And that's what it looks like going on right now. Simmons posting him up. No. Big shot. Oh, but Grayson's got to realize he's got to get Simmons in the ring to be able to beat him for the championship. And Grayson, I think Grayson knows that. That's why he's going to break the count. 
I can now hear these two. These two are brawling right in front of the UKW audience. He's going back and forth with blows. Oh, the audience loves it. We love it over here at the commentary table. What the hell? It seems like Grayson is really taking advantage right now, but Simmons. It's all a oh. shot to the liver. Send him in that shot to that stomach area. Now to send him in after that. Simmons taking his time getting back in the ring. Flies off the Grace ropes. Simmons. Was gonna level him with a lariat. Grayson able to get out of it. Grayson could be looking riptide. Grayson's gonna nail a riptide. It has the riptide on Simmons. We can see a new champion. No. Ooh. It seems like Simmons is continuing to let his emotions get the best of him here. Oh, counter. Grayson's best at that, though. That's counter. Why here we up. go. Flatliner. Into the cover. One, off the flatliner. Two. Oh, almost. A late two count there. Simmons looking to send Grayson in, but no, Grayson sends him in. Grayson is holding up better than I thought. But I would only say the reason is for that is because Andre Simmons cannot seem to get his emotions right. Can I get his head in the right place? He just has to lock in. That's one of the big problems that I've seen out of uh, Andre Simmons. Uh, he usually gets what he wants, but he doesn't really know like when to to let when to let his skill take control, not his emotions. You got to think, maybe maybe it has to do a lot with him looking so far ahead to New Orleans. Now look at his military press. Big, big military press. And like I said, it, it might be a lot with him looking forward towards his first world title defense on pay-per-view. Now look at him, taunting here to the crowd here in London. The strength of the Bayou bad boy. Now going right after, right after Grayson when he went in. Grayson counter DDT. Grayson was able to counter it into a DDT. Was gonna go for a super kick. Got caught. Kick to the midsection. Bayou plunge. Nice. Nice. What? No. Oh, and that might, that might even piss off Simmons more. Well, it would hurt for Simmons to lose it here because he couldn't get his emotions right to not be able to go out in his home crowd and put on a show. Oh, he was gonna, he was looking to go for something. Grayson able to counter. Grayson fires back. Super kick! Grayson being the best manipulator he can to just light up a fire under Gray Simmons. Grayson, now look at this. Look, he did this. He know he's not gonna tap out Simmons. Yeah, he's just playing mind games with the champ. Where's it continuing his mind grains? He's trying to let Andre beat itself. And to be honest, an honest guy, I don't know if it's not working. Andre Simmons is an immovable, an impenetrable for a fortress. I don't think a lot of things work against him. Yeah, like like we said, Grayson is a is a, is a mental. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! No! Oh! No! Oh! 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 My goodness. Shit. Grayson might need back surgery after that one. I'll send him in. No, Grayson. Grayson able to counter. Paracarada. Oh Grayson was able to get out of that. And I'll send Simmons in. Grayson could be looking. We could see a new world champ. We are get, We could see a new world champ. Frog splash off the top. Oh, no. This is bad. The move. One. Two. two whoa. Two. Andre Simmons, oh, Simmons. And dreams. Oh, Simmons! Simmons grabs the legs! Two! Two. Oh! Oh, oh Grayson able to counter! Grayson! Grayson looking riptide! Grayson, oh, no. no! Oh, no! Riptide! No. The no. referee doing overtime! Two. Oh! I thought I saw Andre get his hand on the rope, but... Grayson! 
Is it into the corner? But it is level Simmons. And I'll counter again. A counter again. He caught it. Flatliner. Big flatliner. Simmons, we don't see, normally see this. Uh -huh. That's a Simmons. big boy going up to the top. Simmons, oh big elbow to the heart. We don't normally oh, see Simmons, Simmons fly. Oh. There's Simmons getting even more frustrated. He just needs to keep his cool, keep his emotions in check. No. Got a discus punch. That's all he has to do, go to if he can keep his emotions in check. There it is. A shot to the back. Now he's going to lock it in. He's going to lock it oh, in. Yeah. Louisiana Cloverleaf. Not many escape from this. Oh, Grayson, Grayson. Grayson, I think Grayson got out of it quickly. He's got some, like, secret technique because not a lot of people escape from that. Big power slam. And a ducking shot as well. I think the duck picked the wrong day to mess with the champ. What the hell is this? Oh my god, he's gonna lock it in again. This time an overhead angle of the Louisiana Cloverleaf. Oh goodness. This time Grayson, Grayson continues. This time Grayson wow. again was able to get out. What the hell? Bro, drop move. kick! He floated all the way through. Nailed it with a drop kick. Grayson with a shot. Another shot. Simmons doesn't even know where he is after that drop kick. Oh, caught it with a drop breaker. Off the ropes. Ropes. Oh, big shot. Again off the ropes. Got caught Japanese arm drag. Grayson looking. Grayson Duck is big on fire. Big drop kick. Could he be looking for that frog splash again? Simmons. Oh, he got him again. New champ. Have new champ. New champ. Two. Oh, oh my God. God, Simmons kicked out again. That would have been a little very, very short, short championship reign. Grayson, looking at Simmons, Simmons. Couldn't be sure. Joel sends Couldn't him over the top. Though. Simmons sends him over the top. I don't think Simmons is too happy right now. Simmons, big oh spine buster on the floor. And the champion is pissed off even more than he was a couple of minutes ago. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Middle of the ring. Middle of the ring, knee over the back. Louisiana Cloverleaf sends in, in on Duck. Earlier in the match, Simmons threw Duck into the ring post. Grayson, right Grayson, Grayson. Spot. Grayson again continues to get out of it. He's limping right there a, a little shot. bit. Up. Grayson is limping. Got caught again Ooh. with the Japanese arm drag. Grayson, you got to think, he's got to look for tides that bind. Super kick counter. Big shoulder block. He's got to do anything to get the champ off balance. Simmons. But I don't think that's going to happen. He's ready to put this one on ice. Grayson Duck messed with the wrong dude. Oh, he's going to go for something. Maybe not. Oh, no, got countered. Got countered. He was going to go for Tides that bind. Got countered. He went for Tides that bind. Got caught. Andre. He got Simmons. caught midair no. with an overhead belly to belly. No. Grayson no. got caught midair by the strength two, of Simmons. Three. And Simmons pressed him over his head and caught him with a bayou plunge. That's what happens when you mess with the top dog. Grayson's for Ooh. once Grayson's size came a factor for Wednesday. Simmons was able to pick Grayson out of the air, chuck him over his head with a massive press. Grayson Duck, be careful what you wish for, son. You wanted to run your mouth online the other day. Worst thing you could have possibly did was piss off the bad boy. You see what happens when you do that. Now on to little Andre Graves. We're going to call you little mini-me. You made your way through the four-way dance. New Orleans, Louisiana. Raw Gauntlet. UKW World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Hey, rookie, you finally made it to the big league. Too bad ain't no be no dreams coming true that night. You'll still hear him say, and still.
UKW World Heavyweight Champion, the bad boy, Andre Simpson.